Good Thursday morning guys, just turn that down a bit. Good Thursday morning guys, it's a weird start to the day, go through a bit of fog, a bit of rain. It appears to be clearing up here, eh? that's good news. Uh, Thursday, only have to get through today and then it's Friday and yeah I know I'm like being pretty obvious with that one. In fact as soon as I said it I thought well that's a bit obvious that one. Anyway, that is definite waffle, that's definite an Alan and Show waffle for the morning. Just around the corner from work now. Get through today, eat nip out for some petrol lunchtime. And then I'm settled for next week. And that's kind of it. Slept pretty well last night. Although I did have trouble getting up again this morning. I do I woke up with a with my watch dinging. I have it on the um wireless charger and it just it wasn't quite on the charger properly and it kept connecting and disconnecting and I was lying there for ages oh new traffic light is going to get off have to stop I was lying there for ages trying to figure out what that dinging was and I finally figured it out nightmare well yeah anyway that's my my toils from last night uh, watched the football last night that's all I did uh, watched Liverpool uh, beating Chelsea and lifting the title that the daughter in the run won. Watched the Man U uh, West Ham game and she's United are doing the best to blow it. Well, yeah, well, plenty of football on this weekend as well. Final game of the games of the season, so I should be watching that on Sunday. Uh, get a new dishwasher delivered on Sunday as well, so I've got to take the old one out on Friday, on Saturday, get that one out, get the new one in, and then we can stop washing the dishes by hand. And we both can't wait because we're kind of over it now it doesn't take very long to do the washing up but when you can't be bothered it turns into a chore i don't know we've just got so used to having a dishwasher for so many years that now we haven't got one oh i think for two people we use a lot of dishes as well you know i did suggest that we moved everything and just left ourselves with two plates then we have to wash them but what would happen then I'm convinced is we'd have the two plates and we wouldn't wash them we'd just go and get one out of the others even though it would be more difficult to get out of the cupboards but yeah it is what it is anyway I'll get into work now get through the day and we'll see what happens moving on <laughs> I've just nipped out for fuel and they shut the petrol station. That's a blow. I'll have to go somewhere else now. Drove all the way up to Tesco's to get the cheaper petrol and it's shut. Oh well, I better go and spend my money at Asda then. Never mind. Okay, guys, that's it. I've fueled up and I've just realised how expensive petrol's gone again. £1.8 a litre. That's a discounted place as well. So oil prices aren't that high, you know, they're paying people off here because we're not getting any oil. We've got over oversupply and it's still £1.8. That's a complete rip off. Anyway, never mind that. Uh, go and get in now and have my lunch. Moan over it, political point of the day, drop VAT on fuel. Anyway, moving on. Hi guys, that's Thursday working day over with on my way home. We're just chatting to a guy at work there and uh, we're both of the same opinion. Isn't this year going past fast? Oh, please farm. Everybody's put the brakes on. Uh, isn't this year going very, very fast? I can't believe it's August almost. It's uh, really, really weird. I think the lockdown's made it go a lot faster. Uh, we went into lockdown in March and all of a sudden you blink and it's like I say, nearly August. What date are we on now? We're on the 23rd, so we're a week off August. Amazing. Especially when you think we've only got August and September and we're back to autumn and winter then. Well, yeah, it is what it is. I'm working from home next week as well, so that'll make it a little bit easier. 
just found out as well Michelle has got a training course but it's at the end of the month when I'll be working at home so I'll be sitting on my own for a couple of days at home so I'll be sitting there all lonely never mind I've got to do these things Michelle's been wanting uh, to get training through her work for a while and she's been offered it so she can't really refuse and I'll be fine I'm sure if she makes me a big pot or something uh, that I can eat over a couple of nights, I'll be okay. A big pot of curry or something. Uh, talking of which, I think we're having takeout tonight. Because we've got... Uh, for those of you who've been on the vlog for, uh, watching the vlog for a while, the film that we was making at the back end of last year, um, the steampunk film, we're going to get a viewing of that tonight. It's finally been edited. Post-production's finished, so we're getting a private viewing for the cast and crew and then it's been put into uh, film festivals and stuff and then I'll be able to share links to it I believe uh, well, obviously it's still going to be private for it's a private viewing for cast and crew so looking forward to that tonight so get home get that set up and then we're going to have a, a zoom call and have a chat about it see what, see what see what we think and all get back together again and have the whole crew have a, a chin wag virtual meeting anyway I'm literally 300 yards from home so I shall get around this corner go in and see what's happening but I better get around this corner before I turn the camera off because it's hard to get around that corner with one hand on the wheel but you know hi guys like I said in the car what we're about to do is watch the steampunk film that I worked on at uh, back end of last year, beginning of this year. So we're sitting together, I'm going to watch it on Shell's laptop. Moving on.